What's up you guys, this is Junior Trader and in this video we are taking a look at Nvidia stock. So we will be doing technical analysis, the price action and also the key important levels and guys remember that we have earnings on Nvidia this coming Wednesday. So regardless of which direction it's gonna go, it's gonna go massively. Now remembers, I tend to not have my position during the time the earnings call is happening for the reasons that you just never know how the market is going to read it it happens in the post market and just because in post market it's so easy to drive the stock stock price up or down by big players and how the guidance call will come you just never know right so that's why we have to watch the plays and potential type of levels before earnings and after earnings. So there are two type of trade plan for next week that we'll be looking into Nvidia stock for. Now, please note, none of this is any financial advice and is only for education purposes. Also, please hit the like and subscribe if you find my videos valuable and helpful. Now, Nvidia has been all time highs and is it going to be buy the rumor, sell the news event? So for for what reasons you ask junior trader right like so nvidia really needs to beat the expectations way out of the park for what the wall street is already expecting now it's very possible that all these buyers already know that nvidia is going to really blow it out of the proportion here from 20 billion that might come 26 billion 27 billion who knows right and earnings might be six or seven or eight or something who knows right if wall street has that already they know already through insider information the stock price makes sense the rise in the stock price however it's still priced to perfection in my opinion even if we talk in the relativeness of what the earnings were in the last quarter which were which were also quite good reported 4.02 and revenue of 18.12 billion i think Nvidia will easily surpass 20 billion for sure and even will beat earnings in my opinion but technicals in my opinion as well guys are too extended at this point and I am more leaning towards they sell the news event so this has been more like buying the rumors sell the news so now before talking more about Nvidia on the technical analysis as I just said, there are two type of plays that you will be taking or you can take. At least that's how I'm looking at NVIDIA's. One is only Tuesday and Wednesday until the market closes in the technicals. And then I'm not going to be holding any position on NVIDIA during the earnings time. And then seeing the market and the technicals, the chart from there after for new certain type of price actions on NVIDIA. So now with that let's talk about the levels that we are watching one of the plays that we opened up and how things are looking like so let's first cover the play that we have opened up here and what is that play looking like so the play on that is guys is definitely break below 729 and 90 cents and this is a cool off play now remember this play is only before earnings whatever i'm covering in today's video is only meant until Wednesday afternoon when the, when, when the market closes and then you have to see how the earnings happens okay and this cool off I'm projecting may come down to $709 so Tuesday Wednesday if market consider this as a super extended already I expect this to come lower and for this particular play the the um, the stop loss can also be a 734 I kept it at 746 because I don't think in my opinion um, NVIDIA is going to go above 742 area because this is where I'm seeing a lot of price action that has been building as a sell-off. I'll show you something on weekly interval that will make things more clear but um, so still you can target even like the $734 level but even if it goes above 746 I would still want to short it up there as well until Wednesday afternoon right. And then the bottom line I'm looking at on this is 709, potentially it can come down to or 200 hours moving average, right? And also I'm just going to bring the stop loss down there, guys, because technically you can also be sizing out your position above that if the price goes there, right? Now, what else are we 
looking at here on NVIDIA. Now, what I want to do is, guys, go to the weekly interval. And for that, I'm just going to move it to the side so that it doesn't come in our way when we talk on the weekly interval, the things here. So the candle, this is the weekly interval chart. And guys, oh, well, another thing I want to talk about is I don't know yet, but it could be very possible that this breakout that we saw, the squeeze, it could be NVIDIA buying back shares as well. Meta has done that when they were at the bottom, right? This is how the stock, the companies, they do that. They do the stock buyback when the price is at the bottom so that the price goes up and up. And individual owners like CEO and all the people who have options inside the company, then they sell it at the top and make their profit. So they use the company money to buy back the share and they uh, take the profit for themselves when the price is up on the top. This is what happened on NVIDIA as well. NVIDIA did buy back of the shares from very bottom, 141, and then earnings call squeezed it out because technically they already brought it up that high. And then all these CEOs who has inside options, directors, they were dumping his shares like, you know, massively, right? So guys, if you think stock market is fair, no, it's not fair. And that's why we have to plan out the technicals. We have to take a look at a lot of data and, you know, what is happening in terms of the technicals with the price, right? How much shares, who is buying the share, where the cash is coming from, who is dumping the shares, and all of that stuff. Now, um, you can see this last week that we had, it's like, like a, not a spinning top, but more like that. We have a indecisiveness between the buyers and the sellers. We have a very tiny body in the last week of the NVIDIA, right? So also, and as I have been showing you on not just the daily, but on the hourly inter uh, interval as well, that we are seeing, let me actually pan this thing out. Um, from last five days, whole last week, NVIDIA has gotten into this distribution phase between $729 to $745. So going back to the daily interval now, um, we are sort of, as I, I'm seeing is that we have broken some levels, like 729 is one of those. In my opinion, it's a cool off zone that NVIDIA is going in. And I won't be, since there's a 200 hours moving average, just around, it's going to catch up at $709. This is, in my opinion, is a cool off on NVIDIA that can easily happen. Now, if NVIDIA, let's say post earnings, and I'm leaning towards the downside coming, NVIDIA, as if it comes to 696 and breaks below this as well, 696. The first time it's going to find a support at 20 days moving average, guys, it's going to give it some bounce. Then we will see how high it goes. But if NVIDIA, let's say, comes down here, comes back up and couldn't break above either 729 or 709, this would very likely start making NVIDIA to head much lower and also 627, in my opinion, in next 30 days. But provided after earnings, we continue to see a sell off on NVIDIA. OK, that's very important. If after earnings, for some reason, NVIDIA gaps up above 746 and opens up above 745 or 46 the next day, this is a complete new chart. Again, it's still bullish and technically this can still keep going up. So we, that's why I'm saying that right now, NVIDIA needs to be traded as just only for Tuesday and Wednesday. And then you have to wait for what happens during the earnings. Um, so. The play is that for me, and why when I say for me is because this is what I'm doing and you can f do whatever you like. I'm just sharing my opinion and my thoughts and how I read the market, how I trade the market is short continuation of short play till the, till the point of 709 and stop loss around 734 on this play where the price is, price is at 727 right now. And um, if it continues to break $709 and also break 200 hours moving over, let's say if the sell-off is really dramatic, I'm going to continue to hold the position, but I'm not going to hold it through the earnings. So Wednesday afternoon, I'll be closing all the position uh, before earnings even happens. But in my opinion, NVIDIA has a room to go much lower from here where it is right now. 
and as i said earnings is the thing that you also got i watching and i want to show you the five minutes interval as well guys because and these are my day trading levels plus the orange lines you are seeing and as i'm covering my video guys you must be seeing a lot of tools that i am using which marks automatic levels this dashboard that you are seeing that tells us that nvidia on lower time frames is already bearish and in other intervals it's cooling off i also have my day trading bots i also have my uh so wall street alerts all these things if they interest you links are in the description below to my tools and yeah you are welcome to join and let me know once you join i'll get you all the access that you need now so even on five minutes interval guys um yeah it, in my opinion as it's already looking to the downside game even i'm not worried even if as i said my you know this stop losses i'm talking about 733 there's a reason for that i have put it there and i'm still not worried as long as it stays below that right so yeah it's it's a short play for me in my opinion so look at the distribution building on it this is very likely monday tuesday in my opinion going to go through a cool off good stuff now um i can also show you the short volume percent and there is actually not much short volume percent coming in articles are talking about and i'll show you some of the articles as well articles are talking about that um there is still a lot of bullish uh, options buying happening so let's turn on the short volume percent so you can see it's just 24 percent and 24 percent um 28 percent that day we got it definitely these are the le leading indicators to slow down it but we also want to see the continuation of it until it starts falling but so it's i'm not seeing much short sellers present here but definitely there is are the wall street buyers who had the positions are selling because we are seeing the red candles now um i want to show you just real quick some couple of articles as well that we have been having here so nvidia accelerates quantum computing exploration at australia's posse supercomputing center um nvidia's uh, here's you know nvidia's earnings report could kill the momentum driving us stocks higher again you will some you will find some articles talking both sides this article also talks about there are a lot of bullish calls still happening on nvidia options on the option side but remember guys just because options are happening on the upside doesn't mean price is going to go there options is just a speculation that someone is making definitely market makers have to buy um as a collateral the stock price but you know you do the math like if their options are not really ex getting exercised they will start dumping as well the shares right the market makers so and that will also put in the pressure to the downside my hunch is that um it's very possible that nvidia did the buyback here the squeeze that happened here because there was no particular catalyst for the stock to go up uh, right around this time and it squeezed out so and then it just didn't stop so it, this could be very well also the stock buying back happening i know they announced it back over here they did some more buyback i don't know if they did more here so we will see but i know nvidia did this at the bottom as well this is how nvidia got the price all the way to the all-time highs before it squeezed out it was the all stock buying back they were doing and so was the case with meta so guys yeah companies uh, company money is used to buy back the shares bring them up squeeze them out and then individual insiders then they dump it and make their own personal profits that's how the money is made in the stock market okay um but cool good stuff guys so did we do the technicals to understand all of this the price action the where the stop losses are where the squeeze is gonna happen what are the price patterns telling us the pullbacks how the momentum is looking like this is all what is helpful to to get to identify you know where the uh, stock price may be going for and accordingly you can uh, you know identify where you need to reload you want to buy you want to sell you know that all criteria helps you to identify all of that also um there is one another um not analyst but there is loop a company that also initiated their coverage on nvidia um let me actually find that and just it's just so hilarious that um i'm just trying to find it here so look there's another article here that hedge funds trim positions put to call ratio now looks bearish on nvidia um i'm trying yeah there there's one article guys this one new analysts are coming out a hedge fund by the name loop and they are 
they are putting the price target of nvidia at 1200 dollars guys the company the analyst the hedge fund we never heard of they are coming in now and saying 1200 dollars for no reason it's just beating the same drum pump keep pumping it up as long as they can keep pumping it up make the make people buy at the top because they need some liquidity here to sell to them right so there's like oh just raise to twelve hundred dollars so that people have the sentiment to keep buying and we can keep selling on to them right so that's why you know i like to do on technical analysis my own thesis and all the price action that's why i like to read all of this because you can you should not rely on analysts they they are not working in your best interest okay they are working in their best interest we have to work in our best interest all right guys um this is it for this video rsi not too worried about it right now um this is definitely becoming a one of the leading indicator as well for the cool off but price action which has started to confirm the little bit longer swing short confirmation is below 709 dollars there okay so let the earnings pass and things will get much more clear for the next couple of months with nvidia well guys this is it for this video hope you liked it enjoyed it if you found it helpful valuable please hit the like and subscribe i'll see you in my next video guys take care bye